After the abysmal performance of my last video on Graffiti Kingdom, <laughs> I decided I would go back to Fear and Hunger for a bit. And this video is uploaded on my birthday, May 6th, hopefully. So if you could like and subscribe to the video, that would mean a lot. Thanks. So, let's talk about the gods again. In particular, one of the most confusing gods. Rare, the moon god. Rare is one of the old gods, along with his old god brothers and sisters, Sylvia and Grograth, the god of the deaths, and Venushka. However, if you know about the old gods, you know that all of them have left this earth a long time ago. However, there is still one of them that observes humanity. That's right, our main man Rare here. Very much like the sun, the moon is one of the primordial entities and thus it has lore and beliefs written since the dawn of time. This makes it difficult to separate the facts from fiction and the mad ramblings from the hidden truths. Consistent details among a myriad of stories seem to hint of a god called Rare, also known as the trickster god and the moon god. In the most ancient writings, Rare is depicted as the god of the insane and those who have succumbed to madness. His blessing to men is his moonlight, which is said to uncover the truth under the human film. A truth that is often too much for a human mind to handle. It can be debated whether his version of the truth is more accurate than that of the human filth. Unlike many of the other old gods, Rare's part is greater scheme of things remain a mystery. Just looking at the night sky, you can see his presence, an eternal slumber. This makes his secrecy even more infuriating. He is literally hiding in plain sight. Rare skin Bible. Rare is known as many things. Moon God, the Trickster God, the Delinquent One, amongst other things. Which makes sense as every depiction of him makes him out to be very mysterious and almost Lovecraftian. Although most of the gods are Lovecraftian, Rare takes it to the next level, as he is a god that is known to be very knowledgeable and knows a whole lot. Even glimpsing into a fraction of the knowledge Rare has would inevitably cause the viewer to go insane. Rare's light may do this itself, as there is a thing that Rare can do to humans called moon scorching, which you can see my video on right here if you haven't. It is possible that the light that turns these people into these monsters can in fact be Rare's light to be revealing things about humans that they are too scared to know themselves. In the book, The Truth Under Moonlight, it is said, Who of us doesn't cover their true face behind a persona? In broad daylight, we adopt a social role depending on the surrounding people. We put on a mask that works as a public image of our true personality. Do we hide our face to avoid the judgment of the people, or do we look down in shame as the sun watches our every move? A sun that knows our deepest longings and lustful thought. Only in the darkness of the night does the true and vile nature of men get revealed. We share our decrepit bodies only to the select few under moonlight. Despite what lowly thieves covering in the shadows would like you to think, the moonlight hides no one. All of this makes Rare sound like some sort of god of knowledge as well. When you engrave his symbol into your face, you even get more mind gauge. To segue, it is also strange that Rare is so interested in humans, as he is known to expressly dislike humans. In the first Fear and Hunger game, Rare is acutely aware of the main party members and the girl, who will eventually become the god of Fear and Hunger. Rare, who we have established, hates humans. He believes that godhood should not be shared by humans. So because of this, he will simply employ Pocket Cat, a servant of Rare, and a very powerful one of that, to convince the party to give the girl to him so he can kill her, or worse, instead. To sweeten the deal, Pocket Cat will give you a variety of pretty damn good weapons in exchange for the girl. However, if you refuse Pocket Cat, he will get upset. But Rare will strangely tell him to let it go. Another one of the trickster god's servants can be found in the first First Fear and Hunger is the Lady of the Moon. She is much nicer than you'd expect, as well as she will completely heal you. Once again, however, only if you give her the girl. Rare really doesn't want her to become an ascended god. Another possible servant is the Maneba, these weird little dudes at the beginning of the game, as well as around the Lady of the Moon. They however don't communicate like her, as they will directly beam knowledge into your head. So are they actually servants of Rare? Probably, but who knows what they actually are. After the events of Fear and Hunger 1, the god of Fear and Hunger is in fact born, to Rare's dismay. Or is it? Stop that music. It is possible that Rare has something else in mind. As we've discussed, Rare does let it happen anyway. Which is strange, as she is definitely has the power to stop the girl from ascending. However, he doesn't. Now, all the old gods are important in these games, obviously. However, in the second Fear and Hunger, Rare is a pretty big focus. Even more so than any other old god. In Fear and Hunger 2 Termina, the main game revolves around Rare's Festival of Termina, although the festival isn't exclusively for Rare anymore. The Termina Festival is a long-standing festival in the Fear and Hunger universe where 14 contestants battle it out for Rare's honor, 
until only one remains. However, if people abstain from fighting, they inevitably get exposed to Rare's Light and Moon Scorch, which we talked a little bit about earlier. But how does this actually honor Rare? I really don't know. As we never get to see one that truly honors Rare, as the one we see in Finger Hunger 2 is truly for the Sulfur God instead. It is very possible that Rare is only staying around and pretending to be used by the Sulfur God for another reason in Termina. Well, maybe he's here for Lane. I mean, logic. Another man-made god being created in the second Fear and Hunger game. This is logic, a machine god made by men to create a peaceful world shared through a consciousness through the logic. As we've established, Rare really doesn't like humans and really does not want them to be on the same level as gods. In fact, the only way to get logic and activate it is to go through Rare's pocket dimension and turn on the teleelectroscopes. In fact, several of Rare's realms are connected to logic in general. So it's possible that Logic is tapping into Rare's power. Or it is possible that Rare is directly trying to intervene to stop Logic. Either way, however, Rare obviously has some interest in Logic. However, just like the God on Fear and Hunger, when you get to the boss itself, Rare will not intervene. If you beat Termina in the B ending, the remnants of Rare will be released into the world and you will have to fight him. He will be quite a bitch too, he will have a bunch of eyes that drain your mind, and if they reach zero, you will get a coin flip move that will insta-kill you if you fail the coin toss. He is also prone to cut off limbs, which if you're using an overpowered weapon, oh I don't know, like the meat grinder, it will be it will pretty much end your run if you get a limb cut off, because, you know, you have to fight rare alone. Maybe with ghouls or a blood golem, but only you can use commands and such. However, after beating him, he will float away, disinterested in you, and you will be left to live another day. There's a lot of theories on Rare. He's pretty enigmatic. One is he is secretly helping humanity somehow. He's the god of tricks after all. Maybe he's lying and helping humans. Another one on a much less grand scale that I really love is that you never actually fight Rare in the ending of B Termina. It's just a metaphorical of you fighting off the moon scorching. I love that one. However, either way, Rare is pretty obscure, and I guess we'll learn more about him in the next update, which I will stream when that comes out. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I love you all.